All right, so I've always wanted to compare head-to-head -head, uh, masked foliage with nanite versus opaque foliage, full geometry. So this one on the left is full geometry and uses an opaque material for the leaves. The one on the right is the original mast tree. Uh, you will notice right away subsurface scattering is going to look better on the mast foliage, so if that's extremely important, just something to consider. Uh, you can make it look better than this with opaque foliage, but I wanted the comparison between the two to be equal, so no more shader instructions than necessary on each one. So I made a simplified material for both of them. Uh, only the leaves are going to be moving for the wind animation. So for uh, this one, for example, just a simple material that does just the basics. This is for the masked one, so you have two-sided and masked. And here you can see the triangle count, which is 1.46 million. Uh, the disk size is also going to be a bit smaller on this one, which is the original. Uh, it's 56 megabytes or so. Uh, both have nanite enabled with preserve area. And this is the material for the opaque one, which is opaque and without two-sided enabled. But otherwise, same material, same textures. And we're at 6.47 million triangles on this one. The geometry is going to be quite a bit more complex with a full geometry tree. Uh, you also have, instead of just a single-sided plane with a two-sided material, it's best to use double-sided geometry. So that will also bump up the count quite a bit. The disk size is about 70 megabytes, so if file size is a big concern, it's just another thing to consider. Okay, so we're going to paint a bunch of them at once. I'm going to try to paint about the same amount of each one, just so we can have a relatively equal test. This is just going to be not too in-depth, but just a quick look at GPU times, frame rate, and the overdraw view, just for an idea of what we're looking at. So we'll start with the masked one, which uh, I am going to use the same exact settings on both of them. No culling distance set, static shadow cache and validation, same distance on WPO. So we'll start with masked. Uh, I am having an issue I noticed a bit ago with the full geometry version. The topology of the leaves needs to be modified a bit, so you're going to see it decimating more than it should and losing some of the leaves in the distance. That could be fixed, but frankly this is a tree I'm not planning on using, so I didn't feel like putting in the time to fix it all up. Okay, so we're looking at a little over 30,000 of these. Let's go into the normal view. So performance is a little rough at the moment. 46 FPS with a GPU time of 21 milliseconds. That is mostly going to be from overdraw. As you'll see, it's a little rough with masked and nanite. So we'll get down a little closer. It, it should get better down here. Yeah, not too bad.
So we're looking at about 90-ish FPS with a GPU time of about 10 and a half milliseconds. So this would be fine to use in a game, and plenty of people do successfully, and you could also optimize them much better than they are right now. This is just meant to be a quick look for comparison. So now we're going to go with the full geometry foliage and see how that goes. Just going to remove those. I'm going to try to paint about the same amount. And as you can see, losing lots of the leaves. So I'm not going to count that too much against masks since I won't be able to prove in this video that overdraw is that much better since it won't actually be drawing all of the leaves. You more out there. I just want to get it close to how it was. Okay, that's almost the same. So with these, When you're viewing all of them at the same time, you're looking at about 70-ish FPS GPU time of about 13 milliseconds, which ideally you wouldn't want to render this far in the distance anyways, but uh, overdraw, I'll try to get a little closer here, you'll see that's going to be better. with opaque foliage. Move down a little bit. Do you want to check and see? No, oh, accidentally left that enabled. That actually wasn't helping me at a distance. Okay. So we're at 109 FPS or so down here. I'll go back up in just a second since I just changed max ed edge length. Uh, overdraw is a bit better than it was with masks. But really, I'm, I'm kind of surprised with how close it is when you're down in the forest. Uh, going up. Yeah, not much different up here. Okay, so that max edge length did make a difference here uh, with the full geometry. Now we're back up to 120. Down in the forest, looking at about 110 FPS right now, 8.7 or so milliseconds on GPU. And that'll vary as you move around in the more or less dense areas. But there we are. 